everyone, welcome back to Calabunga Corner Reviews. In this episode, we are reviewing the pop Michelangelo with the turtle van! With the turtle van. And in this episode, I have with me Elipex, as we are in Elipex's attic! And today we have an awesome product that is worthy of my attic. Yes, yes, I am so excited about this. We have, well, anyone knows that I have been collecting the pop turtle toys and going, ooh, I like the detail on these. And in this case, it is the van. The van was actually a gift to me, and I'd like to give a big shout out to the Tunesium for this amazing gift for when I was a guest speaker at the Tunesium earlier this year. Well, it's only fitting then that you review it in Pittsburgh. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, I just wish I got to it sooner. It's been sitting in the package, and I stare at it and go, oh, I want! Unlike a lot of my pop boxes recently, there was actually tape on this. There was a tiny piece of tape right here on the top. It just took my fingernail to break it. So it's still not much, but it's more than uh, what these guys had on their packaging. Okay, here's the front of the box. Yay, turtle van. And then here's the back of the box. Back of the box doesn't really say much. 05, you can collect the entire line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Funko Pops. Super stylized vinyl figures. Turtle van pop rides. And this is a 2014 product. Here it comes. Here it comes. Eventually. I love that. Again, Pop has this, we are making it so the boxes are reusable phase. Mm -hmm. And in the back of this box, they even have like this little brick wall. So it's oh. like decorative even in the box. Very cute. So it'd make it a very nice shelf up item. Yeah. The, the box is as collectible as the toy itself, so I will be keeping all of my pop boxes and the plastic. All the legal information is on the bottom of this. It says Funko, Choking Hazards, May Contain Small Parts. It shows their Facebook page and Twitter account. What? No, Instagram or Tumblr? They need to get with the times. And then it has all their other country distributors, and it says, Not a toy. Seriously, it says... Not a toy. Not a toy. Except it looks adorable and it's made out of plastic. And it, for all intents and purposes, looks exactly like a toy, but it's not. It's not a toy. Do they give any explanation for that? No, it's just not a toy in three different languages. Are there any small parts that could be eaten by children? No! Okay, because if there's like little bits that would fall off and could be easily consumed by... Um, a child, then I would understand, but... It's not a toy! It's like a solid piece, and there's no little parts... I mean, like, the little bit, like, those don't come off. I'm very confused how this is not a toy. Not a toy. Look, he's so adorable. He's he a has toy. a pizza. He has pizza. But he's not a toy. He's not a toy. He's not a toy at all. No. Mikey has a little pizza in hand. His head turns just like the normal pop toys do. Do the boxes for the pop toys say not a toy? Do I've never know? noticed that. We're going to have to look. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a little comparison here. I believe my Mikey is a little more faded, not because of the coloring being different, but because mine has been out in the sunlight a lot more. Right. Played around with, used for photo shoots and stuff. The original Mikey is holding nunchucks and both of his hands are closed. This Mikey here has a pizza in one hand and his other hand hangs down by his side open. Their mouths are completely different as the original Mikey's mouth is open. The newer Mikey has a almost closed mouth showing the teeth on the other side. They got those awesome big black pop eyes. Shells in the back of them look a lot alike. So for the most part, besides for the little mysterious red dot like Leo has on his shoulder, Mikey has on his underarm. Too much sparring. Little red dot. Little, oh, that's so funny. That looks exactly like the other one. I know. Anyone know about pop toys and little red dots? We just started noticing them this weekend. So there we have it. Two Mikeys. But what is most adorable here? It's a turtle van. It's the turtle van. When you look at it, do you think turtle van? I definitely do. I'm really digging the grin. I'm a little, oh, the wheels don't move. I noticed that too when oh. I first took it out when they were saying not a toy. I'm like, well, they well. took the moving wheels away. Now, see, this should have the moving wheels. You know what should not have the moving wheels? What? The turtle van that came with the DVD set of the original series. That has moving wheels? 
that has moving wheels and it has all these discs that are very loosely set inside and if it rolls off a counter there goes all of your dvd set like yeah. an 80 dollars set of turtle series and it has moving wheels that seems like a bad plan this but this <laughs> this one should have moving wheels but then again it's not a toy it's not a toy <laughs> I guess there there isn't any articulated movement on this at all. It's I mean the parts are clearly separate, um, so it's not like you know just like a painting on a single mold. But like, why can't you move anything? Um, you can I mean you can move the the character like his head moves around and stuff. I mean the arms don't, but like yeah. there's a little bit of articulation there. Why is there none? Not a toy. Cause, would you like to add anything about the little monkey, though? I noticed this one has a tiny little hole on the bottom. Is there a little... There is a inside? little knob inside here. Okay, so then he could at least stick inside there so he won't move, even though the fan is not going to move because he's not a toy. No. He defies gravity. That is a true ninja. Yes. That is a true, true ninja. Well, now he will stay firmly in place if the van does not move because it does not have its articulated wheels. I think that's my biggest complaint with this is that it's not a toy. <laughs> right, but I uh, mean it's... For it, an adult, this is an adult toy. Yeah, it's not an action figure you're going to find yeah. in a normal toy line. Like, uh, it's not something you'd find from Playmates Toys or uh, any of the other normal action figure lines, which is mainly Playmates Toys because it's made for the pop toys. But I've always seen Pop as a toy. It's just the adult line of toys who want to em embrace the, the back, the passion of the classics. So adult toys don't move, don't do anything. They don't have any moving parts, and they just basically sit on your shelf because you're an adult. I feel sad about life. <laughs> <laughs> Pop, why did you do this to us? Dear Funko, we want moving tires. Let's talk about the coloring and design of the turtle van. It's got the guns that are known to be on the top. It's got little review mirrors on it. There is no opening to this, but it does feel howl inside. It's very light. You can hold it up with just one hand. It's, it's not a heavy toy. There's not much detail in the, the, like the main just plastic coloring going around, but the shell has the dark green on the inside here. The windows are just blue. I like the little tire holder on the very front. Is that painted or is that a sticker? That is, it's got the sticker on the front there, okay. but that's actually kind of molded as a yeah. turtle shell with that design. And I, I like that added detail. Uh, the mouth, I believe, is just a sticker. No, no, don't, that's painted. No, that, yeah, that feels painted. I mean, they that's actually, painted. that's cool. They actually did a very nice job on the paint job for this. With the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle logo, I like to point out that it is the Nickelodeon crossover with the classic logo. Even though this toy is based completely classic, it's got the little strange logo instead of the normal old school logo. Uh, they do have other details like the red lights and stuff where like the backup or brake lights. Yep. They don't have backup lights actually. There's no white light lights on the back. Nope. Funko, I love you guys. You guys have brought us some very, very awesome toys. Not toys. You guys have brought us some very awesome figurines. There you go. <laughs> but I have to say that my, my favorite figurine so far is going to Bebop uh, for how much detail is actually put into him, sculpted into him, and colored into him. This is from opening the entire line that I know of from this figure line now. The turtle van was the last area I had to open. I really just think he's cute. He is very he is very cute. I was thinking there'd be a little bit more to the turtle van, like moving tires. That might have got you guys a little bit better of a score. Yes. <laughs> but that would have almost classified it as a toy. Almost. Almost. almost yeah. Almost. One more thing that we'll point out with this not a toy is you can at least fit two turtles in the front seat of the turtle van okay they can't look at where they're driving <laughs> but you can fit two turtles in the turtle van do you see yourself still going after the turtle van when it's not a toy actually no i'm a little disappointed by this i mean i would have been a lot more intrigued if the wheels were you know moving or like maybe a part of it opened up so you can maybe store another figure in there or like little other, you know, pop kind of items, but this, it's just sort of there. 
it's just sort of something you put on your shelf and you can't really otherwise interact with it at all. And I'm still tempted by the Mikey with pizza because that's a very good um, variation on that little character in particular, but I don't know. I think I'd have a, have a hard time justifying getting this now. See what moving tires did for your company? Ah! Here we have the Mikey driving his turtle van, leaving the other way, even though he's not a toy. Funko has been working with Ninja Turtle products for a few years now. You can find also keychains and bobbleheads. There's definitely a lot more out there. They even have their blind boxes of turtle toys. There's so much fun things that we can still look at. How about you? Would you actually want to get this turtle van knowing that it's not a toy and that the tires don't move? Would it still be something you want on your shelves to display your turtle passion to the fandom? Funko, this was awesome stuff. Uh, even though I picked on quite a bit the not a toy thing and the tires, the tires moving would have been a nice, simple feature that wouldn't have taken much to do that would have made this uh, much more appealing to some fans. Otherwise, it's really well sculpted. It's got a lot of little details to it. Uh, the front of it is the most impressive details with the little tire area and the paint job. I really like that, and I love the little Mikey that comes holding a pizza. I like it that he has a different face even in his hand. I like the hand that's just hanging down on the side open. It's just a relaxed hand, showing this turtle doesn't just have a pizza, he's not in the mood for a fight. I think that is a good feature. Overall, it's a very, very nice figurine to have on display, and that is what it's meant for. But uh, I do like toys. I like toys too. We have a lot more reviews for our viewers here at Cowabunga Corner coming up from different toys of different companies from Diamond Select, Playmates Toys, uh, and plenty of other unique things, maybe some color forms. Ooh. Ooh. Haven't had that one in the turtle line for many years. It's very good to have them back, and it's good to have everyone here watching. And we will catch you here next time on Cowabunga Corner. Cowabunga! Another little critique I'd like to say is that this Mikey's the only one that can stand in the turtle van and float upside down. Why? If you're going to make them have little nubs in their feet, make it so all the turtles can do it. Or the bad guys can take over and steal the vehicle. I, we like to play with toys. And it's a toy. It is a toy. It's a toy. It's a toy. It's a toy. It's set on the box. It's not a toy. But it is a toy. It's not a toy. These are toys, people. <laughs> <laughs> They're toys. All of these are toys. I don't care if these look like keychains because they got little hooks. They're toys. Well, that's it for us. It's not a toy. <laughs>